Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages. This is Bob from Gill Skills reaching out to you yet again. This is the final State of the Man Cave address before I make my long trek halfway across the country to visit some fellow YouTubers and have some scrapping fun. I have a lot to do still, and it's Tuesday. I feel like I'm leaving in a few hours, but I've got to pack up a lot of tools here including that angle grinder and those tools on top of that refrigerator. <laughs> uh, yeah, things kind of went to hell again on the bench. Uh, it seems to happen whenever you get more scrap, you end up, you know, more scrap equals less space. So that is coming with me. So ladies and gentlemen, I'll be taking this with me. Um, uh, I'm very much looking forward to collabing with some of, you, some of you guys. So I'll be taking this with me. So if any one of you that we've already talked about that I would like to see you or have said that we're going to meet, um, if you've got any, any wire that you want to strip, I will bring the stripper. <laughs> um, anyway, yep, the scrappeth keep coming. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been kind of weighing up the, the copper that I got here. Not a bad little amount, but you know what? I want way more. And maybe I'll get way more. Who knows? Well, you guys know. We know. We know we're going to get more. So I got to sort through all of my boards because I like to go to board sort. I get fun boards such as these and those. I think these are low grade peripheral or yeah, I think those are low grade peripheral, but I've got a whole bunch of them that come out of TVs and such. Got this truck full and uh, yeah. So I bought these bags, these 15, uh, 15 inch tool bags for six, I think they were $6.99 at Harbor Freight. It was a really good deal, they're rugged. Uh, I was able to fit all my bungee cords in there and my, my tie downs and ratchet straps and um, putting some additional tools in there and my snippets and all sorts of fun stuff. And I got a spare bag over here for whatever. So I don't get my truck dirty. So right now, this is the main project. As you can see, I am taking the trailer with me this time and I needed to get underneath it and give it a quick cleaning and make sure that she was, uh, you know, uh, structurally sound in order to make the trip. After all, I will be taking approximately 2,400 miles round trip. One of the things I needed to do was replace the lighting and the wire harness and that's what I'm doing right now. Well, after I do this video, that's what I'm doing right now. I've already taken the liberty of changing out the lights and whatnot. They're just sitting there waiting to be attached to the wires. And with these marker lights, I had to had to be somewhat <clears throat> let me show you somewhat creative and fabricate some stuff, but uh, worked out quite well. It ain't moving. It ain't going nowhere. I might need to sell some wire protectant for the cheap Harbor Freight wire that hopefully will last, hopefully, the trip <laughs> and more. Who knows, right? But yeah, this is the project right now. And then I, once that's done, I'll. I'll be starting to pack up the truck. I'll be putting tools in it and getting everything all ready. And, you know, I'll play the king and talk about myself in the third person. So, Gill Skills, how come you, you waited until the last minute to pack and get, it all, get all this stuff done? Well, you know, um, shit happens. And, uh, you know, it happened a lot in the last month or so. And I had a little mini vacation with my father and my sister and whatnot. And, you know, before you knew it, I got lazy. And then time time seems to fly by much quicker when, when you're lazy. 
you know, when you're feeling lazy and you're doing nothing. Um, I've got, I got to fix this right here. So this basically was held in place with two screws, two very short screws that my father put in place um, for the spare tire. So I'm going to take the screws out. I'm going to put longer screws in there and secure it all nice. And I've got a nice bracket for the spare tire. And then I'll put all that in place and uh, get the spare tire on there and get this, get this looking somewhat spiffy. I wanted to paint it and make it look good for you guys, but unfortunately I did not make it that far. So you get the rusty trailer this trip. So, yep, not a whole lot's been done in terms of scrap. Uh, so I apologize for that. I also apologize to you all for not creating videos like I said I was going to do. Uh, I, I don't, I don't really have an excuse, you know, things, things happen, life happens, and sometimes you just got to build up the ambition and the courage to take that leap of faith and start doing something that you love again, and that's kind of where I'm at. So there's some low-grade boards that I'll be taking with me. Uh, on the other side of the garage, I've got some low-grade boards over here as well. Right there, so I'll be taking those to board sort. Um, I know I had you over here before, but there is like in here. Those are my that's my treasure trove area, where I have um, ram sticks and uh, processors and uh, you know the like and uh, hard drive boards and all that fun stuff. Oh, this <laughs> this this here is a story, man. I'll tell you, my son he sent me a text message and he's like, hey, dad. You want, a, you want a compressor to scrap? And I'm like, sure, I'll take a compressor to scrap. A nice, nice little cobalt. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. So he brings it home, and he puts it in the garage. I'm like, all right, cool. I take a look at it. It's in really good shape. There's nothing wrong with it. He says, well, he says, they, they said it didn't work. I said, it didn't work? They're like, yeah. He's like, yeah, it didn't work. It, it wouldn't turn on. Well... Let me, let me uh, show you what happens when I plug it in. Now, granted, there could be something else wrong where, like, I mean, it, it already shut. It shuts off at pressure. It shuts off at pressure. The only thing that I can think that could be wrong with it is the um, it doesn't turn on once it drops to a certain pressure. I haven't tested it to that degree yet, but... Uh, Give me just a second here. I'll plug that in just for giggles. I'm only going to leave it on for a second because this thing, I'll, I'll explain something to you in a second. Works perfectly fine. Okay. I mean, the compressor sounds a little squeamish, but uh, it does compress air. Uh, I'll tell you, when when I found out that it worked and it pressurized and all that, when my son came home, I was really excited to show him that it still works. I mean, this this kind of compressor here, you, it's like a $400 thing. So I, I was super excited. Of course, I already got one. You know, I got one from Harbor Freight, and that's all set up. But now my son has one, too. So anyway, I had it compressed to about 30 PSI. And I'm like, there's got to be a, a pressure release valve underneath this thing so that you can release the pressure in the tank. He's like, he's like, yeah, I think so. So we look and it's underneath there and everything. I'm like, okay, well, this is where it is. And you just, you got to, you got to release the pressure every single time you're done using this thing. And he's like, why? I'm like, well, because like any compressor, water will build up in the tank. And you don't want that. You don't want that for a variety of reasons. You don't want your tank to rust. You don't want you don't want water to get into your pneumatic tools and everything. So just as I say that, of course, the dumbass that I am, I don't know what's in this thing. I open the release valve, and I don't know if you can tell by some of the aftermath here, but that's what happened. <laughs> it's like this thing shat a hot fudge sundae on my floor. I don't know, man. 
and it shat a hot fudge sundae on my feet and my shoes and my legs and my son was laughing his ass off. Anyway, long story short, free compressor, that works, that shot shat out the bottom of it. I got to purge it a couple more times and uh, we're going to set up a nice, you know, set up a nice little space back there for it with uh, his bench. And I've already got him an air hose line and we got to get him an air filtration system and whatnot so that uh, any pneumatic tools he uses will not get rusty or water infilled, infused, whatever you want to say. So anyway, long story short, guys, I'm sorry. I'm probably rambling at this point. Holy crap, the video is almost 11 minutes long. Uh, so I'm going to wrap this up. But I am very much looking forward to starting this little vacation. Uh, I'm, I'm going to try to live stream before I leave because I'm hoping that quite a few scrappers will come in, especially those in the areas that I'm traveling to. Uh, and I do want to make arrangements to see everybody. Um, there's a few folks and I'm traveling a great distance to visit. Uh, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing them. So, But anyway, boys and girls of all ages, I am very much looking forward to headed out in the next week or so and the future up and coming videos that will ensue or in, in view in enshrine or you know what the hell I mean. Okay. So y'all have a wonderful day. Not only a wonderful day, but have a scrap happy day. Okay. All right. Nothing to see here.